<sighs> Man, it is cold outside. It is like snow apocalypse out there. It's pure, pure blizzard out there, man. Ugh. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Kos. Um, snowed in. <laughs> it is absolute hell. It is an absolute hellscape out there. It's like hot outside, and um, all of New England is covered, covered in snow, man. Like two feet of snow. And just last week, it was like. Uh, it was like almost 70 degrees so it, it was it's absolutely crazy here and um <laughs> i was uh just going back because I, I wanted to make a video on this at the time but i didn't have any time on me um but yeah i just i wanted to make a video on this but i never got a chance to and basically it's uh about some some high profile disney shills okay so these are the creme de la creme of the disney shows for star wars they're on on disney's nuts about everything that they release they uh they hate the eu uh these people are are the worst examples of disney shillery i've ever seen so uh let's just take a look at this okay so uh i was recently um shared uh an example of their their shilling ways uh steel wars podcast uh steel wars apparently uh doesn't think that the eu was ever canon and that george lucas uh wiped the eu or something like that but to to think george lucas didn't override it with his episode 7 outline is ignoring everything he said and did regarding the eu fascinating all timeline and thankfully i i was uh i was led on to this uh to this guy's tweets and what he's been saying about the eu so um and also uh what was replied to him by Jason Ward. Lucas was constantly wiping EU canon during the Clone Wars. It isn't even a Disney era thing. The announcement just arrived post Lucas. Nonsense. Give me one example of when. <laughs> just unbelievable. These people like they say things and they don't they have they have done no research. Yeah. So he wasn't constantly wiping the EU. Like, what does that, what does that mean? The EU is still intact <laughs> as, as the Clone Wars was going along. So it, it doesn't even make any sense. So, uh, anyway, I'm just, this is what this guy's channel looks like. Okay. Steel Wars. Such a, such a big Star Wars fan, right? Ben Mendelsohn. The, f the fun of Krennic, the last Jedi's Prince Easter egg revealed, <laughs> the best Star Wars bootleg toys with the Suck Lord, like what? Why Holdo was the most surprising thing in The Last Jedi? Oh my god, IG-88 moves in Empire. <sighs> Was the fandom prepared for The Last Jedi? Okay, it, it wasn't that that uh, the movie was bad. It, it was just that, that we were just, just plebs, just lesser beings unprepared for its greatness. We we're unprepared for its progressive ideals. Unprepared. General Holdo is the uh, Vice Admiral Gender Studies is the is the most surprising thing. I don't, I don't I'm not sure if that's supposed to be positive or negative. <laughs> just like you look, just browse through his channel real quick, and you'll just see just how much of a shill he is, how how much he just dick rides for uh, for Disney, yeah, and uh, just how how much. He just chills so hard for uh, for these new Disney Wars films, and for him to just—I mean—in spite of their uh, 
their obvious trashing of the canon, in spite of their uh, disregard for Star Wars fans with the current movies, uh, in spite of their rebooting all of canon, all that was regarded as canon, okay, um, somehow, <laughs> somehow, we're we're just holding on to nostalgia because um for for whatever reason because oh we, we just hate disney for irrationally and um you know it, it was never canon in the first place the old eu then you're shilling for disney what happens when this is not canon in 20 years you're gonna look like a fool and everyone everyone <laughs> thinks that the less jedi was just this absolutely awful uh, i mean at least like the vast majority of people have seen it and 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 have judged it as objectively awful filmmaking objectively awful uh character development objectively awful uh tributes to the original trilogy's characters i mean people like you are are the ultimate tools of disney i mean and you know yeah i'm sure you're, you're shilling just to just to get your channel noticed hoping that someone is like will like like your your videos or whatever but um it, it's really kind of sad to to see this yeah um yeah i mean real and then to come back and say like oh real star wars fans what um honestly i, I think they hate it out out of out of principle um they, they hate the the disney the disney canon out of principle and, and part of that's true you know they could love the eu all they like but but um there's good and there's bad star wars um there's good and bad like all star wars but to think lucas didn't override it with this episode 7 outline is ignoring it no he did not he did not Okay, if we were to just take a look at um, the drafts for uh, episodes for episode seven and um, just a lot of the games that that were going to be made uh, based on episode seven before the the buyout and the reboot, it was a reboot because everything before Disney was canon up until the buyout. So um, in that. In that uh, description of the Shadows of the Sith, which was the original uh, title of Episode 7, um, the draft was basically about um, Ben Solo, um, Ben Skywalker, see, ugh, stupid Disney canon. Um, it was basically about Ben Skywalker uh, trying to locate. Um, trying to locate Jason, I believe, Ben Skywalker, uh, stepping out of Luke's shadow, um, Ben and, and Jaina sort of, uh, trying to, uh, to locate Jason Solo, and, um, I guess it was going to take place around the time he became Darth Kytus, or was about to become Darth Kytus, or something like that, um, yeah, so it was basically going to focus, um, it was going to focus on Ben Skywalker sort of walking the line between, uh, between light and dark side, and he was going to sort of be looking for, uh, for Jason Solo. And he had to obtain new force powers and help us help help uh, Jaina to defeat Jason. So um, I thought that was I thought that was a good a good way to uh, to carry on the Star Wars franchise. But of course, Disney decided no. And this guy is here saying like Lucas overrode that all the time. Like where did he override? Uh, the Yuuzhan Vong War. Where did he override uh, all of the the ancient Sith lords? The Clone Wars was actually going to acknowledge the Old Republic and possibly leave it as canon, um, but they took out that scene. And you can't be talking about the old Clone Wars show because, if anything, that acknowledged the rest of the EU as well. Everything, um, basically everything that was in the prequels 
acknowledged the EU in some way. Okay, it owed its life to uh, the expanded universe. It owed itself to uh, the prequels, by and large, owed themselves to the vast lore of the expanded universe. So, to, for you to even say that, it just proves how much of a scrub you are when it comes to Star Wars. I mean, that, that Lucas was, was constantly overriding the EU, really? Really? He was using the EU as source material. It just makes you look so dumb when you say stuff like that. You know, people have no idea what they're saying. And they just say things and they, they get like a ton of likes on these comments from other people who have no idea. <laughs> who have no idea uh, about the history of Star Wars. So, um, this is something fun um, to make a video about. But I, I don't know if you guys want to see this. But <laughs> is Rose Tico pointless or is the point missed? Wow, talk about shilling, shilling hardcore for, for Disney's failure of a, of a film. Shilling so hard, trying to make this, this character that nobody likes, no one cares about, especially Vice Admiral Gender Studies, trying to take this character that everyone hates and prop her up on a pedestal and saying, oh, like, why don't you like this piece of crap character? This, this, this ugh. Why, why, why don't you plebs just accept this this garbage character? Yeah, then you wonder why you know people are like, uh, yo, this dude is, is a hardcore shill. This guy is is literally shilling for the worst character in the ever conceived and associated with Star Wars brand. All right, let's dip into it, Jason. Now, still, you run a little website called makingstarwars.com is dot it? Com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Mark Sorry. Hamill's makingstarwars.com. Okay. I, I only I don't I don't Google stuff. Yeah. I just go to Mark Hamill tweets to find out what's going on. So makingstarwars.net. Now it's your business to find out what's gonna happen in these films before they come out. When when you watch the film in retrospect, what did you find most surprising? The most surprising thing to me was that Holdo was a huge hero. In, in the film because every little micro thing that got out about Holdo over the course of the production painted her at odds with Poe Dameron and the rest of the rebels. So the whole time I'm convinced that she's probably a bad guy and that, and I knew that there was that scene where they have to like come and do the bridge if you will. And so with that, I was like, why would Poe Dameron do that unless she's bad? And so the whole time, like that was the big surprise to me. Was, was like that she was one of the best heroes in the film. I mean, the absolute nerve of this cuck to talk to anyone, this shill, to talk to anyone about what he thinks about Star Wars canon. When this t absolute tool invites on some douchebag purporting that general, that Vice Admiral Gender Studies Holdo easily easily one of the most hated characters to ever be associated with Star Wars. The same character who got a bunch of people killed in the movie for her ineptitude is one of the best heroes in the film. And we're supposed to take this sunglasses at night looking idiot seriously on any matters of the EU being canon or not. I mean, just... Uh, give me a break, man. And who really asked for this character? She's essentially Space Anita Sarkeesian. Nobody wants her on Earth. Nobody wants her in outer space. But, but I just bring this up because it's surprising that this character, this hated character, is getting a toy. I've never seen people hate on a character as much as Holdo. Yet Jar Jar Binks is a joke. But they're just annoyed by how stupid Jar Jar Binks is and wants him to disappear. Holdo is just, like, an actively bad character that causes problems and ruins the franchise. Star Wars is going in a weird direction right now. We're supposed to take this clown seriously when he tells us that, um, oh, don't let Jaster Mareel watch Attack of the Clones like he did uh, to resist Disney over here. You should see some of the crap this guy's been posting. Yeah, like they didn't retcon that. It is absolute madness, this guy. You know, he has the, the, the nerve to tell anyone 
any EU fan, any long-term Star Wars fan, that uh, Lucas has always has always ditched the EU, has never thought of the EU as canon. That he um, he basically uh, said screw the EU with the Clone Wars. Like he has no idea, no freaking idea what he's talking about, and it's embarrassing to see them pr just propagate these lies uh and shill for shill for disney um like they are doing it's just totally embarrassing yeah um and it's pretty propaganda and, and cuckoldry to to disney so anyway um that's just me being real man i mean i i just it's embarrassing really honestly like there are so many people so many uh, you saw that last video so many people wanted to to just like strangle ryan johnson and just beat the absolute ever-loving crap out of out of uh, vice admiral J gender studies holdo um when they saw this movie so uh, i mean playing devil's ad advocate here isn't, isn't necessarily the wisest choice but um yeah, it, it does expose you as a show. I mean, the movie was so bad that it got literally banned in China, um, kicked out of theaters. So, I mean, he's busy running damage control for Disney, and it's just it just looks pathetic. You know, it, you just look like such an obvious show with all these videos, like, condescendingly talking to Star Wars fans like, oh, we weren't we just weren't prepared for it you know just just look at the titles of of some of these videos you know and it's it's ridiculous um um anyway i'm just hoping i make it through <laughs> the next next few hours uh with this massive snowstorm outside i mean it's it's literally like two feet of snow out uh, out my window i'm looking right now and it's just like it is a amount of snow but anyway um it's your boy Kos, uh, I'll probably be hitting you up with some more videos about Disney shows and just why they're a problem, um, why they're kind of annoying, and, uh, gotta spot them and call them out, really, you know. Alright, it's your boy Kos, uh, peace out. Hey, my fellow Star Wars Legends fans, I'm launching a new Star Wars Legends campaign. The links are in the description. You can get everything from mugs to t-shirts and phone cases with Star Wars Legends designs on them. So please show a little love for the cause. Any support in helping to get our message out there will be greatly appreciated. Thank you and may the force be with you.